I don't even want to check how many months it's been, but I am back and I'm going to be showing you my TikTok quality settings because the ones I showed on my previous video, I mean not previous video, but my first quality tutorial, looking back at those settings compared to my settings now, they were trash and I would like to apologize for teaching you those things. I want to apologize to all of you for what I did. It was very wrong and I am very sorry. Anyways, um, let's start the tutorial because this intro has been going on for way too long. So first things first, add an adjustment layer, pause and read that later. It doesn't matter what coloring you have, adding brightness and contrast will make your video quality to appear better. So like, do you know when you add sharpen, you get those white borders, I mean like bright borders around your video? For me, it's annoying. I don't like that and I found a way how to get rid of them. So if that's your style, leave them. And just keep your sharpen and unsharp the same as mine. So what I do next is I pick a frame from my edit and then I save the frame as a PNG. So PNG is a looseless format, so that's why when I export my frames, I always choose PNG. Then I add the image back and I trim it so it's only one frame. So the glitch, you can see the glitch. I mean, not the glitch, but the flicker of your cover, you can see it, but it's not as intense since it's only one frame. So the maximum video size allowed on TikTok is two gigabytes. So I'm gonna show you three different settings and I export my video three times before I choose which video size fits into two gigabytes. be like that sometimes now i'm gonna show my third pair of settings so bam bam done i absolutely do not recommend these settings if you're at it it's like 40 seconds but i'm gonna show you what you can do in that case so let me just oh my god it's so bright right i was editing and i clicked on a folder and it was literally so bright anyways so pick what fits into gigabytes so now i'm just showing if you didn't know how to upload videos on TikTok. You just pick the file, click open, and then wait. So then I make sure the first frame is selected so we don't have no weird cover situation going on. So then like write a caption like, he's like so, so now I'm just gonna show you what to do if the file size is bigger than two gigabytes. So you must have medium core. So pick your video with the largest file size. So just click here, 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 bam, 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 and just like that, choose that, and do that, and I'm just gonna sleep while you do that. Then, okay, so if you pick hardware encoding, your edit will render faster, but if you pick software encoding, your edit will have a higher quality. So basically sort out your priorities and let's move on. So obviously high is like high. Um, so I would not go lower than the default one because the default one is high. So if you go lower, the quality is going to be lower. So normally I would go for 5.1 or 5.2 because many encoders default like high preset settings have those as their default. So choose VBR2 pass. It decreases the chance of getting an error. Just don't go too high with settings, but just choose whatever you think is going to work the best and try out different settings. Thank you for watching my 2022 updated quality tutorial. I better not hear anyone of y'all complaining about your quality now. Um, JK, I love you. Here are my settings. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna post more tutorials. I have many video ideas that I wanna do, but I'm 
a very, um, what is the word? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so thank you again for watching and I don't know when I'm going to be back, but I'm going to be back. So have a good the rest of your day or night wherever you are and bye.